What is going on, everybody? Today we are going to do a showdown between the Big Idea Design EDC Pro and the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Short. A little disclaimer before we get into comparing and talking about the good and the bad or neg more negative side of these two pens is let's just get down to both of these companies. I've heard nothing but excellent customer service from them so if you do have any issues with either one of these pens definitely feel free to reach out to them and take it up with them if any issues that you may have these two pens do not reflect any of the other pens that you may buy so just keep that in mind okay so both of these pens both the Big Idea Design and the Tactile Turn that I have here in my hands. Both of these pens have been outfitted with the same ink cartridge, which is a Schmidt Easy Flow 900 Fine Tip. So you can see right there, pretty much the length difference between the two pens with the same ink cartridge because the EDC Pro by Big Idea Design does is adjustable to the ink cartridge to take up the smallest footprint possible for whatever ink cartridge you use. Tactile Turn, the disadvantage with the Tactile Turn is this is a Parker style pen, which is the bolt action short. And in order for you to move into a G2 gel, the pen is just slightly longer and slight and slightly shorter if you go with a G2 Mini, something to keep in mind. So even though you have to buy a totally separate pen with a tactile turn than you do the big idea design, it it kind of evens itself out, so to speak, because of the fact that, I mean, it, your guys are pretty much set forth of what they like in a pen. If somebody's into a G2, they're just going to buy a G2 pen. Um, are they really going to switch ink cartridges through like out a week or something? Probably not. Um, I use pretty much the same Parker style. Like I said, these are Schmidt Easy Flow 900s with fine tips because they work the best for me in the course of a day. Okay, clips, both of these pens do pretty much carry the same. They're pretty deep carry. Big Idea Design has it a little bit more, sits a little bit deeper in the pocket, but overall they are very close to each other as far as how they carry. Um, slight disadvantage with the tactile turn is the machining, which is a circular pattern. It does tend to, when you're pulling it out of your pocket, it almost like a zip tie. You can feel it zip coming out of your pocket. So I could definitely see where it's going to be a little bit of eating up your pocket, that that material when you're doing it. Like I said, it feels like a zip tie when you pull it out of your pocket real quick. It's like zzz, And it can certainly be problematic in the sense that it's going to eat your pocket up a little quicker. For someone like me, who I'm using my pen very heavily all day long in and out of my shirt because I put it in my shirt, it definitely can cause an issue. The other thing with both of these they are both bolt action. And both these pens at you know, back in the very first beginnings, they were there was complaints about their action being too soft and kind of jelly. Um, so they both are using very stiff springs now. And I have to say that personally I think that they are way too stiff. Um tactile turn as you can hear it's very snappy and but it does seem to be slightly cocked to one side and it's a little concerning that maybe there's just a little too much spring tension for it so even though both these pens I have used the heck out of them very much so and big idea design is slightly rough when you're got a nice snappy feel to it but it is slightly rough and I'm like I said very concerning that the spring may be a little too tight there's also some movement in the pivot as you can kind of see right there there's some movement and I kind of concerning with this the fact that maybe when I'm you're using it it's cocking inside of the cylinder and maybe is giving me an impression that 
the spring one isn't was very stiff and it's causing it to kind of cock to one side inside the cylinder and it's very kind of grindy and has a rough grindy feel to it so very kind of cons again concerning that again that the spring is just a little too stiff so final conclusions of both these pens very good pens um, I'm sure there's there's a little kinks that could be worked out um, such as the pocket clip and that kind of zip tie feeling of coming in and out of the pocket it's, if you're really going to use a pen it's going to be a little bit of a pocket shredder both these pens I definitely think that the springs just maybe a little too tight for their action I have a lot of bolt action pens as you will see if you go back through the channel I have plenty of bolt action pen videos of other very fine pen makers and their springs don't need to be quite as stiff as these two are but either way they're both snappy both work really good tack the uh, big idea design is just a little rough it does feel like it may be pivoting a little bit around inside the cylinder and it gives it kind of a grindiness when i'm trying to use it and that's kind of a little bit of a disappointing aspect but other than that both the pens i chose to carry them both at the same time for about a month then i turned around and kind of chose i carried them again for another month but i kind of used i kind of went to whatever one suited me for the time so i carried both my pens in the shirt just like this all day long and so what I would do is I would just kind of go for a pen randomly, whichever one I grab and use. So it was basically determining which one I kind of chose over the other. And basically really what it kind of boiled down to is I chose the tactile turn overall. And I turned around and after that one month of carrying them both and kind of seeing which one I went to the most, I kind of chose the tactile turn. I turned around and carried that one again for another whole month. Again, just to try to see how it would keep working for me. See if that action was going to cause any issues with using it every day. It really hasn't. Neither one of them in their action have changed since the very first day. Again, the roughness with the Big Idea Design EDC Pro is still there. It's been there since day one. It's not something that came in. It was there from, right from day one, and it's still there. Not unusable and still great to use. It's just something that you should keep in mind. A pen might, if you do get one, it might have that same almost kind of grindiness when you're trying to open it or, you know, reply the tip of it it closing it snaps right up every time so just something to keep in mind just a little bit of roughness i think that's something that they could have even fixed maybe they even realized they they it had that issue and they could have fixed it by now so just something to keep in mind but overall the pen that i chose between these two which one i carry it was the tactile turn bolt action short but other than that that was my conclusion between these two pens. I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment below and let me know if you guys got either one of these pens and how you feel about them. And have a great day, guys.